All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rekakwadash. I want to give double honors to the pastors and elders of Great Millstone, a peace and salutation to the elect, the hopefully elect of Israel. You know, the ones that's striving, doing the work, pushing the correct doctrine. You know, um, I just wanted to go in on, on uh, the video or rather movie uh, that I watched today. I uh, went on ahead and ordered it. It was a video from 2000, a couple years back, 2014. And um, the brother, one of the brothers, uh, one of the brothers had, uh, you know, referred me uh, to the, uh, the movie, you know, said it was a good movie. So I went on ahead and watched it. And, um, you know, to my, uh, what I got out of it is, uh, well, the brother was, you know, he was telling me how, uh, how the movie goes, goes into, um, you know, uh, certain things that, uh, Esau is trying to, uh, tap into that the most high is controlling. And, um, I got that out the movie as well, because when I was watching it, you know, the movie goes into, uh. Uh, out of space, like how Esau, certain plans that Esau may be planning, it depicts uh, America, or rather the world is going, going down, and now uh, this guy got to uh, save mankind, and uh, if you brothers ain't uh, get a chance to watch it, go ahead and watch it, because it's a, a good movie. You know, it, it it goes into like the third and fourth dimension as well, the spirit world, and um, you could t you know that these uh, Edomites, Esau knows he he uh, you know these top um, elites, you know the dealing with Hollywood, they study they have to have a um, inkling about the scriptures because it's it's no way you know even though they get. Uh, power from the left hand side they definitely do but but guess what Satan noticed Satan noticed scriptures too <laughs> Satan when when the Lord was in the uh I believe it was the garden no he was when he he, he went on his fast you know he went I, I believe he went on a 40 day fast 40 days and 40 nights and Satan came to him and Satan was quoting them script Satan tried to cut Yahweh Shah. You know? So that, hey, Satan knows the scriptures. Good. He knows the scriptures well. But Yahweh Shah, he couldn't um, overthrow Yahweh Shah, you know? Because that's the Lord, you know? But, um, yeah, it goes into how Esau, and I don't have to, um, I'm not going to bring the scripture. I'm, I'm going to quote it. Job. Job 9 and um, 24, the earth is given it to the hands of the wicked. So we know Esau, we know um, these Edomites run the world, right? And um, that's a good movie. So if you brothers get a chance, check that movie out. It's called, I'm going to go back. It's called in in Interstellar, you know, it's a good movie. And um, I'm going to go to the scriptures. I'm going to get a couple of scriptures, right? I'm going to get Isaiah. Isaiah 14 and 14. Okay, and, and let's read. And when you and when you brothers get a chance to watch the movie, you're gonna see how he's hey, every like far as NASA, you see what Esau is doing. He's trying to tap into outer space, he's trying to go out in those realms. But the most high is not allowing this goddamn devil to get to certain certain places and certain spots because he knows we the real Israelites and he knows we're gonna be able to do those things, but he wanna do them. You know, that's why he's, you could say that Esau is jealous, you know, Esau is jealous. 
This is Isaiah chapter 14, verse 12, and it reads, How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground? Was didst weaken the nations? And this is when they fall. This is when um, these so-called Edomites are um, going to be taken out of rulership. All right. This verse 13. For thou hast said in thy heart, I will ascend into heaven. You see, see them Edomites. You, you see um, those uh, uh, particular NASA, um, you know, organizations, all these space programs. That's them. Who else going into the. The uh the the space like that, trying to get into space, and half of those, I'm, and I'm gonna get to that. Half of those um, expeditions were fake, cause Esau is a deceiver, you know, a devil would just mean deceiver, you know. But I'm gonna get into that. But uh, reading on it says, "I will exalt my throne above the stars of Yahweh." You see, so when you watch this movie, you gonna see, hey, Esau, he he want to be, he want to go out there. And you and you and this the movie shows you that Esau no has a particular um a knowledge about the third and fourth dimension because they say say it in the movie and we know it uh by being a spirit world you know now I'm not gonna go that deep because certain things they meant for us to get right now but I'm pretty sure the Most High has um. Plenty of dimensions, you know, because the Most High is great and Almighty, you know. It reads, "I will, I will sit also upon the mount of the congregations in the sides of the north." It reads, verse fourteen, "I will ascend above the heights of the clouds." Now, wait, now tell me this, right? Who, who else sit? Who sits up there above the clouds? The, the heavenly father. So in other words, Esau wants to, he want to be the most high. You know, he want to be the most high. He the only one that's got, you don't see the, the, the gooks out there flying or trying to be, uh, you know, all out in space. You don't see the Arabs, you know, the so-called Ishmaelites. You know, they, they in a, the, uh, they got towels on their head. They going around on um, riding on camels, playing with gold, you know. And now the modern day Ishmaelites, you know, they got cars now. They got Bentleys and and they in Dubai having having a ball, you know, playing with the black woman, you know. Um. It says, "I will." Uh, so it's Esau. Esau. These Edomites, uh, they the ones. That's running the world and trying to send all got all types of flight um, systems, all types of uh, airplane and navigational things going on up there. You know, they want to be up there. They want to they they want to they want to be the most high. They want to be us. They want to be they want to be everything we come up with. They they want they take over, you know, hip hop. They take that over, you know, everything that's that's known. Jake started it. One way or another, or he, he or he had something to do with it, you know. Um. It says, "I will be like." See, it says, "I will be like the most." Who else? Who else? It says, "I will be like the Most High." Who? Who else is that? It's Esau. You know, it's pointing right to you, Esau. When you watch this movie, you gonna see these these Edomites that how they. You know, proclaiming they going out in space and going into different dimensions. You know, the most high ain't allowing you to do that. Now, now your buddies might on the left hand side. Of course, the heavenly father control that. So that's the spiritual demon Satan. Now he's out doing that, you know. He's out there. Yeah, the movie um movie shows you that Esau um has a, a little bit of knowledge about how the Heavenly Father works. And Satan. Alright, we're going to go to Jeremiah. Back to the other point that I wanted to bring out. How, um... Now, certain things that they... They, um... Say that they did, they didn't. You know, a lot of this stuff is fake. Like, far as 
like them going to different dimensions and uh, going to the moon. Uh, they got a so-called uh, picture of the earth. You know, Esau ain't been out that far. You know, Esau ain't been out that far. And I'm proving this is Jeremiah. Because the most high ain't allowing these Edomites to go out, you know, where we're going to be going out in the kingdom. In the kingdom, we're going to have that power, you know. Esau is limited and his, and his, king, his rulership is almost over. We at the end of this thing, you know. Okay, I'm going to start at verse 35 of Jeremiah 31. And it reads, thus saith the Lord which giveth the sun for the light by day and the ordinance of the moon and of the stars for a light by night. So that proves that the moon is a light. You know, Esau portrays that he went all up on the moon and stepped on the moon. And well, the scriptures say that uh, the moon is a light. So what do you think that you won't want to step on something that's, you know, that bright or that, of course, is going to bring heat to it. So you might have been fried going up there, getting that close to the moon. The Lord said the moon, the moon is a light. All right. It says, which divideth the sea when the waves therefore roar. So the moon is in and, and, and the sea is connected. That's why, um, you know, the uh, apostles and the elders, they, they it's a connection with the Sabbath and all that. You know, um, and how the, um, you know, the, um, the holy days come about, you know, you get, the, got the new moon and all that. That's how it, that's, it's, it's all a connection, you know, and it's, um, through the power of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, you know, the heavenly father and his son. It says the Lord of hosts is his name. So yeah, the Lord control all that's, that's out there. The sun, moon, stars, that's all the Heavenly Father works. And it's beautiful to look at. All right, reading on 35, it says, Salaki 36. It says, now listen up. This is verse 36. It says, if those ordinates depart from me, saith the Lord, then the seed of Israel also cease from being a nation before me forever so in other words the lord said if these things if, if these things wouldn't be no more like the sun and the moon then there ain't gonna be no more israel you know and we still around we still see the sun and the moon in the ordinance so hey we a hey, the seed of israel is still here so that proves that when uh vocab and all i'm saying oh the israelites ain't no nation nah all the nations are still here you know all, especially to see the Israel. If you look up and you see the moon and the stars and the sun, then to see the Israel is still here. The Israelites all around. And they're known as the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. They're all the Israelites. You know, and the people that, and the Israelites, that, that lineage go back to those people. And they had that spirit in them. All right. It says... Reading on, this is verse 37. Listen up. It says, thus saith the Lord, if heaven above can be measured. So don't, don't Esau, he says, oh, this, the earth and the sun is 35,000 million centimeters away. And um, another thing he says, the earth is uh, 3.2 million billion side. No, Esau ain't got a whole a picture of the whole earth. Because he ain't been out that far. He don't know how the earth look. It says. It says. Let me start over. It says. Thus saith the Lord. If heaven above can be measured. So Esau can't measure. He don't know how far this is away from this. And he don't know how. Because granted. If you had a picture if you had a picture of the earth, right, you could it could be measured. You know, Esau got all this uh, te technologies to where though 
if you had a picture of something, you could measure it. That's just common sense. And and where you take and how far out when you where you, how far out determines uh the length of where you're taking that picture at. Like say if I'm um I'm backing up the further I go out and I get the whole view of the picture picture, I can measure that. So the Lord said, look, if heaven above can be measured and the foundations of the earth searched out beneath, so that proves that Esau ain't been ain't even been um through all throughout the seas. You know? I know me and brothers was talking, we were saying that how it was uh still other lands and uh lands that Esau ain't been to, you know. Esau just he don't he he just touched the uh the crust of the pie. It says, and the foundations of the earth, the foundations mean the bottom of the earth. I know I was um it was an episode, it was um um it was well known at the east, uh these Edomites, they try to um dig down to the earth, right? And when they got to, I believe it was a certain amount of miles. Everything, everything went, everything kept going wrong. And the scientists finally uh, stopped digging, right? One of them said they heard a demonic sound. The whales, though, they said they'd never go back down there. They'd never dig that deep, you know? They said it, at a certain spot, that's when they had to cut all, everything kept messing up. But then they went and tried to dig again. And they said they heard a sound like they they just stopped operations. So the most high don't play, you know. That's why I said, hey, Esau got limit limitations. You know, Esau ain't been in no moon. It's, it's so many. Um, oh, it's this a good thing for you to watch? Um, a show called on you. You can type it up on YouTube. It says. A funny thing happened on the way to a, to the moon. Where's though this guy? Um, I forgot his name, but he went around. He went around um, interviewing, you know, some of the Apollo um, astronauts, and they got mad at him because they knew they they know that damn well that they ain't go to the moon. It was a hoax, you know. It was a hoax. But you, they can. These Americans are stupid, you know. That shows you how, how dumbed down these people are. It says, and the foundations of the earth searched out beneath. So Esau, you ain't been um, through all the seas and all that. You don't know how deep the earth is. When you, you know, on your scientists, um, science books, it says, oh, the earth crust is right here. And then if you dig this deep, you see the, uh, the, earth, the earth got a volcanic, which it does, but... Esau don't know because he ain't dig that deep. So how would you know if you ain't go there? You know, when you dig right here, the earth crust get get thicker. Then when you dig right here, it get thin. Then when you dig right here, it's uh the earth cores, right? It, all that is baloney, you know. Cause it tells you right here. If Esau, you know when you when you was in school and you saw the picture of the uh core of the earth and it was hot, it looked like something that's all phony. That's that's something made up of Esau, Esau pulled that out of his ass. Because this scripture proved that um all that science bullshit is is is, is wrong. Now don't get me wrong, he Esau some of it is, but the more, majority of it is not. Because this scripture proved it. It says, and the foundations of the earth searched out beneath. Check this out. I will also cast off all the seed of Israel for all that they have done, said the Lord. So the seed of Israel is still here, you know. We still doing these videos by the grace of Yahweh Shimi Hawashah. You know, we still walking around on the earth. The Israelites still here. So Esau ain't dig that that deep. Esau ain't 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 pumped up. You know, he doing a he doing a great job of being a devil. Yes, he is. You know, but certain things Esau ain't um wasn't able to achieve because this is a uh, we clearly see the scripture in Jeremiah, the 31st chapter in verse 35, 36 and 37. 
It's basic. It's almost like the Most High made a bet. He said, "Look, hey, I bet you this. Look, if Esau can't dig, if Esau can dig down to the core of the earth and find, you know, to the depths of the earth and measure it, or if Esau can measure the whole earth and how, then then I'm gonna cast it. Israel is no more. And and like the um, Akim said yesterday, um, you know, we did a, a live show, a sit down." He brought out how um, the Most High was about to do away with Israel in the wilderness, you know. He, so the Most High, it wasn't too far uh, fetched to where though the Most High was just going to do away with Israel because we, at one point, we were so wicked and we went off, you know. But he giving us that grace now to come back to him and serve him, you know. So there's no, no, no need to be proud. But it's a need to be humble and need to be uh, trying to get up out this thing in the system of things and and try to be saved and get one of those chariots, get on one of those chariots, you know. Yeah, yeah America is going to be destroyed. And, and that, that movie, Instella, they half write about how this place is going to be destroyed. It's going to be a desert, like, far as, like, the whole earth is not going to be destroyed. But America is. Babylon are great. So they kind of sort of got an idea of what's going to happen, you know. And um, you brothers get a chance to watch that, you know. But um, I hope this was edifying. Till again, shalom.